Sung J M searching for his top form this week at Congaree. Um, so he's missed the cut in three of his last four tournaments. I feel like he plays every weekend. Uh, the only time he didn't miss the cut, though, was the T17 at the PGA Championship. So with that in mind here, Fowler, minus 110 to finish top 20 this week. Chasing or fading that? God, man, it's 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 going to be hard to fade Sanjay on Bermuda, but I'm going to try and do it. Um, look, look, Jeff and I talked about Sanjay. I think he's a fine GPP play. I think he's one of the better GPP plays. Well, when you talk about getting some, uh, you know, some variance on, on, your, on the tournament side, but boy, like trying to lay juice on this guy who's got one bad round over the last, you know, three or four tournaments that he's played, like really bad. Not just like, oh, I missed a few putts here. Like he's just lost irons and putting and around the green. But like Sanjay's on Bermuda. The thing that you have to lay though, is you have to lay the juice to get this guy top 20. And he's missed the cut, like you mentioned, Emerson, through the last four. So I'm gonna fade it, even though I don't feel good because Sanjay's on, Sanjay on Bermuda is like, you know, a peanut butter and jelly. Mm. Mm. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, Jeff. I've been distracted by food. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, let, let's let's put it this way. I like this bet slightly more than I like the Noren bet. I mean, again, Reed's right. Sanjay's yeah. not really in top form, but you look at his last two top twenties. They both came in South Carolina. One was a, one was, one of them was at Kiowa Island just a few weeks ago. The other one at the RBC Hilton Heritage. These are the type of spots where, where Sanjay comes alive. He loves the Bermuda. He loves these type of like Southern courses where he gets on the Bermuda grass. It's just his thing. He's got massive Bermuda putting splits. And, and again, we talked about this before, but we have a large sample on this. So he hits top 20s at a far greater rate than a guy like Noren as well. And you're really not getting, you know, the very similar odds. You're, you're slightly under plus money here, but it's really still not good enough like to, to take this bet. I mean, again, I think you should be looking way down the board in the plus, in the top 20 market down towards guys like Camille, maybe even like Ben Martin down there because the odds are bigger and these guys are, and a lot of those guys are playing well and they often come alive in weaker fields.